Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to It's English Dorsi. So today's lesson is very important, although all lessons are very important. But in today's video, I'll be telling you how to ask for an opinion of someone. I know you most often say, what's your opinion? What do you say? And I'm not able to express what you want to say exactly. So I'll be providing you some alternative phrases for how to ask for an opinion. Now let's begin with the lesson. So, the first phrase is, how do you feel? How do you feel? In this, you are indirectly asking for the person's opinion, that the, of what that person feels about that thing. The next one is, do you agree? Do you agree? In this also, you are indirectly asking for the person's opinion. Because if that person doesn't agree, he or she will provide his or her opinion on that point, on that topic. And of course, if that person's agree, he or she will say yes, of course. Third one is, what do you think? What do you think? In this, you are directly asking for the person's opinion. That what that person think about that particular point or topic. The next one is, would you like to add anything? Would you like to add anything? And this, you are of course saying to that person that, would you like to add anything? Are there any further suggestions that you want to give? Next one is how do you feel about dash 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 how, For here you can just add the topic for example uh, How do you feel about a farewell party? How do you feel about the Christmas party? In the first one also you can do the same. How do you feel about our organization? How do you feel about our decoration? The fifth one and the first one just had slight difference. Now the next one is what's your opinion on? What's your opinion on dash 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 the topic? Here in these dashes you have to add the topic. For example, what's your opinion on our trip? And this you are directly asking that person by using the word opinion that what that person's opinion is on that particular topic. The next one is, I'd like to hear your thoughts on. I'd like to hear your thoughts on. In this, I, apostrophe D, stands for I would. I would. So, it's a short form to write I would. I, apostrophe D. I'd like to hear your thoughts on, dash, 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 the topic. Let's say, I'd like to hear your thoughts on the speech prepared by him or her. Now, in this phrase, you would like to hear the person's opinion or the person's thoughts on that particular topic. Next one is, I'm interested to hear your opinion about this. I'm interested to hear your opinion about this. You are interested to hear the person's opinion about that particular topic. The next one is, do you have any views on dash 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 the topic? Do you have any views on? The presentation prepared by him to show to the business organization or the business chairperson. So in this also you are asking for the further views of that person. The next one is would you agree that? Would you agree that? In this you are not directly agreeing like the second one in which you have asked do you agree. But rather you are asking for a particular opinion for that person. Would you agree that? Rather, in the first one, in the second one, you are directly asking for agreeing or disagreeing for that person. But here, it's more clear because it's showing that you want to have that person's thoughts or opinions or if that person want to add anything in that particular situation. The next one is, please tell me your opinion on the topic. Please tell me your opinion on in this, you are requesting that person by adding a requesting verb that is please, please, please tell me your opinion. You are directly asking for that person's opinion. The next one is, would you support the view that, dash, 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 would you support the view that he or she will be the head boy or prefect of a school? In this, you are asking that person that he or she would like to support the view would like to support the opinion given by others or not. Or he or she has something else to say to that topic. Another way of using the phrase I've just discussed is, 
Are you convinced by the argument that? Dash. Are you convinced by the argument? Here, it's most often used when we are having an argument, where we're having a debate. Here, you're asking that, is that person's point, the, per, the point presented by that person on the situation is right or not? Do you agree with that? Are you convinced by the argument? The next one is a more formal way to ask, do you have an opinion? Do you have any idea? Do you have any idea on the particular topic? It's the most casual and easy to learn phrase to say or to ask for an opinion. The next one and the last one is, do you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? In this, do you see it doesn't mean that you're asking that person to see that particular topic or that particular point because one can't see that, one can't do that actually. But it's used that you are asking that person that do you agree with me or uh, are you noticing what I'm trying to say or do you have any further opinion or suggestions for that? It's a kind of not that much directly asking for opinion but a type of. Whenever you will say do you see what I mean? It a little bit indicates that you are asking for that person's opinion. So guys, these were the phrases to ask how to ask for an opinion. I hope now it will be clear to you how to ask for an opinion is for someone. Now the code of the day is every bad situation has a positive side. Every bad situation has a positive side. Even the dead clock shows correct time twice a day. I repeat, every bad situation has a positive side. Even a, ba even a dead clock shows correct time twice a day. That's all for the video today. If you like, put the thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.